The Stavanger Brass Band, I think, I think is a is a family in a way. We have to be. We we spend so much time together, and uh, we rely on each other so much. Not just kind of musically, but to make the band go around. It's run by its members. <laughs> My name is uh, Anders Rydberg. I'm uh, the chairman of Stavanger Brass Band. I've been for the last uh, three and a half years. I used to play percussion in the band for uh, 13 years. I stopped uh, 10 years ago to prioritize other things in life. I've been part of the organizational side of the band uh, ever since and from well early in my playing career in the band and uh, find it very meaningful to contribute to their success and their uh, development and um, yeah keep uh, keep running the band for the musicians so that they can focus on playing develop making uh, good music for themselves and for the audience <laughs> My name is Elisabeth Åsta and I play the solo cornet in the band. Uh, I'm originally from Stavanger and I joined the back actually back in 1983. It's a long time ago. I am what you would call a pure amateur in this band. I have no musical education or anything. I, my background is from the school band and I joined and the, the Stavanger Bass Band when I was 15, 16 years old. So my day job is completely different. I don't, do not work with music, but I work in the energy business. So I'm uh, currently in a leadership position responsible for selling gas to Europe, which is an exciting business these days. And it's completely different from what I'm doing when I'm in the band. This is people who has uh, other jobs than being musicians. Uh, you have the combinations of, uh, of uh, people working with their hands, like electricians and carpenters. Uh, you have lawyers, you have teachers, you have professional musicians all combined in one ensemble. So that's also quite spectacular. And obviously, working their way to this event, Cities Brass, um, is very demanding for each and every one of them, also their families, uh, because they go to rehearsal every day for almost two weeks. My name is Frank Bravhart. I'm a trumpet player, and here in Savanga Brass Band, I play the principal cornet. To play with the band is, um, for me, always um, a very special occasion because I work with my instrument on a daily basis as a professional and then to join this band, which is basically uh, an amateur band, um, that is so driven to, to play music to the best of their abilities, it's, um, it's, it's quite an amazing experience every time to come in and to hear everyone being, being so um, motivated to do their absolute best. And for me, it's also always a reminder of um, why I started to play my instrument, because it's just uh, something very pure to, to meet all these people that want to come together and play music together. And then uh, to, to enjoy that, be able to be with them and enjoy that on such a high level, it's just uh, yeah, it's very special. If you want to test our concentration, <laughs> just, just lie on the floor. Uh, anybody plays the wrong note? Uh, <laughs> okay. Right, can we start please in the, uh, we'll start at, at, the beginning. at the beginning. There are going to be, we're going to make some more changes to the final movement. 
Yeah, we might make some a little cut or two. Well, I need to dis discuss with Daniel just to make it a little shorter so we have some breathing space in the timing. My name is Arvon Owen and I'm the solo tenor horn player in Stavanger Brass Band. I've been in Norway for nine years, coming on to 10 years, and I work here as an educator and freelance musician. So playing in the brass band for me is uh, probably the biggest part of my life. It's all I've ever known. I started playing when I was seven years old, and I've pretty much played continuously in the brass band since then. And I still find it as exciting now as I did 30 plus years ago. So I don't know anything else, and there's nothing better than it. My name is Karianne Flotne Nilsen, and I play the solo trombone in uh, Stavanger Brass Band. For a living, I'm a musician, so I'm a freelance musician at the moment. I also teach a bit, small children. And I started back in 2011, so it's been 12, 13 years now, so yeah. Playing in Stavanger Brass Band really challenges me as a trombone player uh, and as a musician. I have kept developing as a player and I think it's given me different challenges through the music, playing different genres, playing with different people and uh, it's been really fun. The collaboration with Ian is quite uh, fresh and new and uh, many of the players in the band know him from before, I've met him in different bands in different places. I think everyone, everyone recognizes him as the, the, the chief conductor of the Tredegar Band in Wales. And um, yeah, he's now for the first time, I believe, working uh, with, with, with us for a competition. It's just very exciting to get to know a new person and, and, and see how they uh, deal with things, how they deal with us. So it's always nice I mean, to, to get to know a new uh, conductor and, and, and uh, yeah, when it, when it then clicks, when it all falls together and everyone uh, inspires each other to do better, then that's a very nice uh, thing when that happens. Well, the Stavanger Bosman is a very diverse group. Uh, we have young players, we have older players, and we have different nationalities in the band, boys and girls, young and old, uh, which is a very fascinating um, uh, combination of people. And I think that's one of the things that makes it so nice to be part of. Uh, it's like a big family, well, but with very different backgrounds, of course. Uh, we learn from each other, we bring in the different kind of experiences we have, and um, yeah, it's just fun to be together with something like that. The main committee, the music committee, is made up of, uh, of band members, and everything that we do, we do it for the, for the good of the organisation, but also for the good of the people that are in the band. For any band to be successful, we all, we all have to get on, and we have to get on both musically, but also in a kind of holistic way as well. It's more than just like playing together here in the band, but we also know each other outside of band, and, and we get on really well. I think that's very important. Very important for us is to do something that's uh, entertaining the people, of course, but also that is very fun for us to, to play and that is something that we enjoy playing and that gives a positive energy. I think that's very important for us. And I had a conversation with a colleague um, a couple of months back and um, it was after a very busy period uh, in the office and he told me I envy you to have something like that as a hobby because when I go home, he said, I'm still thinking of my work and I know you are doing something that takes a lot from you. So when you go home and you can go to the brass band, you really need to switch off and do something different. So I guess it's part of, it's just nice to be part of such an environment and have that opportunity to do that. Rafat, who is our principal cornet player, he's, he's from Holland. Uh, he lives here in Stavanger, playing professionally with the Stavanger Symphony Orchestra as a solo trumpet player. Just seeing him playing on both those fields is also quite special. 
Uh, and he says that uh, playing in the band is, is sort of getting back to why I started playing on overall. And I think that's a beautiful thing to, to show to the younger players. Which as a little kid you start off usually in uh, yeah, one of these bands and and the, the, you know the first day, the first sound you make on your instrument, they think, wow, that's, I made that sound, that's awesome. And yeah, sometimes you lose that a little bit, but then when uh, when I when I play here with these people, I get I yeah I get that feeling again, and I'm like, oh yeah, this was this was how it all started and why, and and uh, and it's just so much fun. I feel really privileged that they, they allow me to play with them. Contests being a big part of what we do, you want to be successful in those as well. But I think it's, I think it's about what we do in the, our day-to-day -day life. If we are good at recruiting young talent, bringing them up to speed, uh, socially and musically, uh, keeping the ones that has already started having families, uh, if they want to leave for a, for a certain time, maybe they can come back, so that we have the the fine specter of young and older people within the band that can push and play at the very, very high level, because that's what's unique. Having this as a hobby, going into band room for rehearsals, going on stage, it's, it's the only thing that I've done in my whole life where I have to leave everything else behind for that two hours. You have to sort of dig into the music, you have to be 100% focused. And that doesn't happen everywhere, and especially now with the younger people. They, they have their screens everywhere. They cannot do anything, many of them, uh, without looking at the screen. Playing on this level, there's no room for any other thought than exactly what you're doing. It's between you, your instrument, your music, your conductor and your fellow musicians. So the whole thing is about being able to do that as a hobby. It takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of dedication, and we want to continue to be on that platform, be on the highest, highest level. <laughs> 